the SDK is a huge differentiator. And one other thing I wanted to talk touch on on this is flight time. So being back in the drone industry with the Phantom One, which I have one of them behind me, uh, flight time was like 10 minutes, maybe. Uh, with the Phantom Two, you were maybe getting 13. And it was always like, well, when are we gonna see a drone that gets 30? And then once you hit 30, it's like, when are you gonna see a drone that does an hour? With 45 minutes of flight time, are you finding the feedback that you're getting from industry that it is like beyond enough to get the job done? Well, every, everyone would always like more, uh, right. but at this point, it really does feel that way. Uh, it's checking, you know, 90, 95% of the flights we've done. We do have ways of continuing missions and things like that to get those large job sites. But uh, when you look at that 45 minutes of flight time and you look at the previous versions of drones we had, you know, 28 minutes on the Phantom 4 Pro, I believe it was, which was mm -hmm. groundbreaking. So you'd plan your missions for 20 minutes, and that's about what you would be able to get. Now we're planning missions of 30 to 35 minutes, getting an additional 50% of flight time during missions. It just makes going out and surveying those sites that are about sub 120, 160 acres, just one battery, pretty easy. And even sites that are larger than that, you know, you grab a case that's this small, and you can cram what five six batteries in here with the 100 watt smart charger that should be able to keep it going and we've got really fast recharge rates on these uh mavic 3 enterprise batteries so being able to have that 45 minutes of flight time keep flying being able to make surveys of 30 35 minutes plus it is kind of what the industry has been asking for and why i'm just really excited for 2023